Hi, welcome to Unlocking Your Limitless Life, where hidden inside your biggest problems truly are your greatest possibilities. I'm Susan Schatzer, your host, and joining me today is Ben Stein. Ben and I have been chatting with you about childhood trauma to transition to actually creating a different possibility for you in the world because he has been there. Don't go anywhere because he's going to share some tips and tools in just a minute, and we will see you on the other side. Unlocking Your Limitless Life. Hi, welcome back. I am Susan Schatzer, your host, and joining me today is Ben Stein. Ben and I have been speaking with you about his childhood, um, transitioning into and out of drug dependency, and we're about to step into where he is now and how he is contributing to those other people in the world who may be suffering from or in the same place that he was. So please take us there, Ben, because I know that so many people want to find out the happy ending to where you were and they're following along with this. So what is your next step? All right, so I enroll into a um, coaching program um, turn a three month, um, no alcohol, no drug challenge into over a year. In that year time, I learned how to process my negative emotions. I learned how to design my life with intention and with vision. Um, I created a, a TV pilot, which had been a long time dream. Um, I started coach training after my six month intensive. And um, I then uh, embarked on another dream, which was traveling around the world um, for uh, eight months, uh, starting with Kilimanjaro and ending with Everest Base Camp. Nice. So um, I was like, now I've got these tools to, to live an amazing life. And, um, and it was challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge. And some were given to you and some were self-imposed. And yeah. Yeah. And, and each one you successfully yeah. completed, it was the next challenge. It's yeah, like, what's I was, next? I was like, if I'm going to coach people on living their best lives, I need to be able to do that as well. So. Um, after my travels, I um, wasn't ready to become a life coach full time. So I went back into the advertising industry. I was very successful in that. Um, became an executive producer at ad agencies. Pivoted into the um, dot com world as a VP of software nice. um, at a dot com. And I also side hustled coaching because because I had left coaching and I was like, wow, I really want to do this. And I was getting into the the purpose question at the time. What really is my purpose? Because I was making good money, I was being challenged, but I didn't feel like I was really contributing in a meaningful way to um, what I was here meant to do. So that's when I started the Purpose Up podcast. And the Purpose Up podcast is all about inspiring people to live purpose-led lives. And it was um, partly a question for me to get clear on the question for myself and to use that quandary to help others along that way. And so I've, I've interviewed some amazing folks for that and we've learned so much about purpose. Um, and I share that with folks now into my coaching. Um, and also yeah. had, had used that side hustle to be able to transition into coaching full time. So um, I'm really passionate about helping light lighthouses in the world now. Um, I was really afraid um, for a long time to take risks. And, and as you know um, from knowing me personally, um, Fear is one of those things that can get the best of anybody. And I really work with folks to change their relationship to fear because once you change your relationship to fear, you can really do anything. Um, so my mission now is to help people gain clarity, to gain confidence, and to gain courage uh, to step into their purpose, their potential, and their passion. Um, and it really just totally lights me up when people understand how they self-sabotage themselves, understand their own self-limiting stories, and can then um, pivot away from those into their vision of what they really want. You know, what you're talking about resonates with me because we have not always all been on a happy path. Like, we have had our mountains and our holes and our dungeons and our hells that we've been in. And it was those of us, you and I, and many of our audience members that have dug ourselves out, climbed out, you know, tooth and nail and, and all the way out to then be able to stand before those and say, we get it, you know, we know, you know, cause we've been there. And these are the things that we've used 
to get there that could contribute. And I love what you're saying because you're actually pulling on a lot of the tools that you use to get yourself there to then be able to support others. Totally, totally. I mean, and uh, you know, just as an example, I had a story for so long that I'm not the entrepreneurial type. So then I didn't want to leave my benefits, didn't want to leave my cushy job. But you know, then I realized if my purpose is to really serve other folks, it is selfish of me to let my stories win rather than an alternate possibility of what if I actually am an entrepreneurial type and what if I really am here to make huge impact. And um, you know, I know you um, talk a lot about asking the right questions and it's so important that we do ask ourselves the right questions. Um, there, just to get geeky for a sec, there's um, a part of our brains called the reticular activating system. Yes. And it is that, that filter that, you know, if you buy a new pair of shoes, you see them everywhere. If you buy a new car, you see it everywhere. But it also works with your belief systems. So if you believe something's not going to happen or you believe something is, you will just bring in all of those inputs that confirm your belief and throw away all those inputs that don't. And it's so true. So I help people like understand how their stories are priming their filters and how they get to write a new story and invest in their vision, right? And we talked about visualization a little bit. Um, you can either have a goal, but it not have any mojo to it, or you can close your eyes, you can feel it, and you can have that emotion, like an IMAX movie that you can visualize as vignettes of success. And when you have that power behind the vision, you live a vision-driven life, and, and you actually get someone to coach you through that process, hold you accountable to it, there's so much power in that, and that's why I love this work. Yeah, I feel as though you are empowered and you are empowering others as well. You're bringing them along with you. Yeah, I mean, and, and I continue to get coached as well because um, I've created so many amazing things in my life through being coached, through having that person that holds me to my highest self rather than me having no accountability and playing it comfortable, playing it safe, which so many of us do and it's easy to do, but if we're willing to step up and play a bigger game, there's so much more possible. Thank you for being vulnerable. Thank you for being here, for sharing your I story with the world. This is global. And I know what you're doing is actually changing lives at a completely different level and scale that's never been seen before here on the planet. And I'm glad that you've agreed to be on the show and to share this with the world. Yes. So if what Ben and I have been speaking with you about resonates with you and you'd like some more information, drop down below. You will see our Facebook group, Unlocking Your Limitless Life. Please go and sign up and join us there. You'll find us there as well as below that. You will see all of Ben's information. They are hyperlinked so you can connect with him directly until we get to meet you in person someday. Ciao for now.